What's up guys, I'm Hype, and I'm here to tell you about a new sponsor of the channel, Velo T. Velo T is a bat bag that turns into a batting tee. We are partnering up with Velo T to give away one bag for our Instagram followers. All you have to do is go to this post on my page, at Shot by Hype, follow Shot by Hype and Velo T, like this post, and comment down below the post tagging three baseball players that need this bag. A winner will be picked on October 31st, so good luck and thank you Velo T for sponsoring the channel. Hi, my name is Andrew Fisher. I'm a class of 2022 infielder committed to Duke and this is what's inside my baseball bag. All right, so here's my glove. I got a Rawlings Pro Preferred. Um, this is pretty much what I rock with when I'm in the infield. Uh, just what I feel most comfortable with. Um, now here's practice ball. Uh, but I, I like to flare the thumb out, flare the pinky out a little bit. Just what I feel most comfortable with. You know, I go two fingers in the pinky hole right here. And then uh, typically I'll play my pointer finger out. Um, I like this glove. I like Rawlings. I like Pro Preferred, uh, the model. And, uh, you know, it just it's what works for me you know everyone has a different preference but uh this is my go-to um i really really suggest it and uh i think it's i think it's a great great glove really reliable too i've had it since freshman year a lot of my stuff's old stuff i i typically try to stay with uh i guess all my my stuff i've been using for a long time what i'm comfortable with i don't really try to change it up too much unless unless i need to so it's my glove right here Here's my, uh, my Rawlings Pro Preferred. Uh, this is a uh, Chris Bryant um, Chris Bryant model, and it's a third baseman glove actually, but uh, I use it when I play outfield. Um, typically not out there much, but when I am, uh, this is what I feel most comfortable with. Uh, again, it's a preference thing. Um, not a whole lot different than this other than size, but uh, very, very similar feel. Um, you know, I uh, like I said, I'm not out there much, but you know, oftentimes I'll just warm up with this, play catch with it, just, you know, make sure I have a good feel with it still. And, uh, you know, it's, a, it's an H web, a little bit different than this again. Uh, I think this is I web here. Um, you can kind of see the difference right there, but this has a little bit more of a deeper pocket, uh, a little bit more give to it. But uh, once again, another really, really reliable glove. You know, with this glove, I go two fingers in the pinky hole right here. I keep these strings loose, uh, thumb. I tie these real tight and uh, I keep my pointer finger inside the glove. So it's got a really, really loud pop and uh, really, really comfortable glove. So. Here are my bands. I uh, typically warm up with them you know, almost every time I warm up. Uh, you know, just kind of lock them right here on the fence and I could do my, all my, my whole stretching routine with them. Uh, tie one on each wrist and uh, go from there. Here's my helmet. Um, it's a Perf Game helmet. Uh, personally, it doesn't bother me that the Perf Game logo is there. I, uh, just what's comfortable, you know? I, it's, it's one of those things when you're in the box, uh, you guys just gotta make sure you're comfortable. So, you know, if some, some helmets are a little too loose on my head, some are a little bit too tight, uh, I just think this is what's most comfortable for me. I, I do have plain helmets where it's you know all black or all red or whatever color our, the team I'm on, but uh, this is just the, the helmet I'm most comfortable in. Um, that's pretty much it. And I stick with helmets here. This is my high school helmet, you know, wall baseball. Um, you know, I, I do have the chin strap. It came uh, it came with the helmet. Uh, you know, if you put it on. It protects right here, front side. So when I'm facing the pitcher. I'll see you right at this point of view right here, but 
a little bit different than my other helmet, but I really like it. It's a nice style. I like the way uh, the white contrasts with the red and uh, overall 10 out of 10 helmet right there. So I, I typically go with uh, G form for my shin guard and my elbow guard. Um, just what I, again, what I feel most comfortable with. Uh, a lot of time you can even see here, it's not really about style. Uh, they're two different colors. So, you know, this one's got a little bit of tan in it. Uh, you know, a little bit of white here and this is all black. So when I'm up in the box, it's not really about what I look like up there. It's, it's more about comfort and just being ready to go, you know? So this one, you know, put it on, on my right arm here, easy straps, they're Velcro, easy on for the swing, you know, easy off, comes right off. The same thing down low, you know, the straps are going to wrap behind my leg. You know, this is going to go right on top of my foot. Easy on, easy off. Um, you know, really, really flexible here, and it's really, really sturdy though. You know, you get hit by a pitch or a foul tip off your foot, it's not gonna hurt, so. I, I like to go with G-form. Um, again, what I feel most comfortable with. Slide and mitt, you know, this typically is in the back pocket. Uh, you know, try to bring it out a few times a game, you know, swipe a few bags, but, uh, you know, unstrap this here, little Velcro. Goes on the left hand, strap this thing up. Woo. There we go, perfect. You know, I tuck the thumb in personally. Uh, there's a little thumb hole right here that some people will put the thumb out. Um, I think if you're gonna protect four out of the five, might as well just protect them all. So get all five in there. Um, this is Evo Shield. Uh, I've never really had any other brands uh, sliding mitt. I haven't seen too many other brands, but uh, you know, this is the only this is the only one I have, and uh, I love it. I like it. Here we got my Blast Motion. Uh, I keep it right in the box, so it stays nice. Um, you know, in and out every time I go and use it. Uh, Niners, uh, my my travel team. You know, we use the Blast Motion all the time. You know, analyze our swings, all the data, and all the feedback. Uh, you know. It, it's really, really helpful, really, really good tool uh, we use, and uh, it's awesome. I really like it. You know, just strap it right on the bottom of my bat and, uh, you know, swing with it, gather my results and uh, analyze it, break it down, uh, swing by swing, you know, round by round, whatever it is. You know, some days I'll hit with it and uh, it'll be on the bottom of my bat, and then I won't look at the data for a while, you know, and I'll see based on how I'm hitting, how my results are in game, you know, then I'll go back and look at it. All right, here's how, here, here's how I was a few months ago, you know, when I was successful and, you know, right now I'm in a slump. You know, let's look at what's different versus, you know, what needs to be changed versus what's good. Um, so it's really, really helpful, uh, really, really useful tool right here. Oh, we got protein bar here. Uh, this is just a little snack for in between games, uh, you know, in between practices. So I carry, I carry uh, multiple pairs of batting gloves with me. Uh, I grip, I grip the bat really, really tight. Um, you know, always got blisters on my hands, and uh, I tend to go through batting gloves. I rip them all the time. Uh, but uh, here's here's one pair that I use. Uh, they're Adidas. Uh, I, I got these when I went to East Coast Pro. Uh, they gave them to me. They're really, really comfortable. Um, these are probably my backup gloves for you know if I go through one pair these are the these are the next ones I'm going to um, I like them really durable uh, fit really really well and uh, you know size XL I've got some big hands so uh, my black Franken gloves these are my game gloves uh, only warm uh, only wear them when I'm up to bat in the game uh, in the box you know I, I, I don't really need to break them in too much uh, they fit pretty well um, these are just, again, what's most comfortable for me. Uh, these are my go-to uh, power strap. And um, I have multiple pairs of these. So I have one pair here and I got another pair. I typically like to go with black, but uh, you know, just so I could tell the difference of when they're in my bag and I go reach in to quick grab them, I'll buy you know one silver pair and uh, one gold. So I know I got a right and a left for a gold and a right and a left for silver. Um, they're the same same glove and then these are my practice ones 
uh, for school ball, these are my game gloves. But uh, outside of school ball, these are my practice gloves. Uh, you know, red's our school color, so I have red pair of Franken gloves. Um, they're not my go-to's, but you know, when, when it's school ball, school season, uh, these are my gamers. Here are my sunglasses. Uh, I typically wear them on just like this. Um, you know, I say it's nighttime out here right now, but uh, these are my glasses. Uh, I really like the color. I actually got them before I committed to Duke, um, so it's pretty cool. They're 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 blue. Uh, I mean, I like them. Uh, I know blue doesn't go with everything, but uh, I don't really care if it stands out a little bit. I like them. You know, I get a lot of compliments on them, and I don't see many people with them. So, you know, typically we just rock with them right here on the hat. It's, it's not, uh, sun's not in the eyes. You know, a little bit of swag there makes you feel a little, feel a little better, but let's start with, uh, we'll go with the cleats now. So, these are my game cleats. Um, these are Fernando Tatis model. Uh, Adidas. Um, these are really, really comfortable. They're really, really light. Um, you know, I don't really have a whole lot to say about them. You know, all positive results. Uh, you know, no blisters when they first went went on the feet. Uh, you know, they're really, really comfortable. Uh, feel really, really good in them. Uh, I feel confident with, with the pink too. Uh, you know, makes you feel bold and uh, and I'm not afraid to wear pink. So. Um, I'm excited. I got multiple pairs at uh, East Coast Pro here. You can see I got my turf ones. You know, these are my metal spikes. You can see the bottoms of them. These are metal, and uh, these are my turfs. So these are again Fernando Tatis model uh, Adidas, and uh, they're 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 really really comfortable. Uh, fit on and off. These are the bottoms of them. Pretty cool actually. Uh, Again, get a lot of compliments on them. Uh, Adidas did a great job making these shoes. I think uh, East Coast Pro was a great event, and I couldn't be more thankful for everything uh, they gave us when we were there. I mean, the gear we got at East Coast Pro was unreal. Um, it, it really was, but outside of the gear, it was a wonderful experience there too. Uh, East Coast Pro was awesome. Got to meet a lot of new people, uh, make a lot of new friends, and the competition was great. So. That was really cool. I, these are, again, I got these at East Coast Pro. These are my indoor turf shoes. Uh, you can see the bottoms of them here. Uh, I wear them when I work out. Um, you know, I'm out on the turf doing some speed and agility work. Uh, when I'm lifting, uh, you know, go for some runs, I'll wear these. Uh, you know, these are really, really comfortable. I plan on, you know, once these get worn down, I'll, I'll go buy a new pair. Probably the same exact one, same size, uh, you know, 11 and a halfs, and just roll from there. And uh, lastly, we got the bats. So I guess we'll start with the gamer. Uh, this is uh, Louisville Slugger. Uh, this is actually new gamer. My uh, my old one. I typically roll with a uh, Marucci AP5. Uh, I actually broke it uh, in my last game, but uh, this is the new one that I'm I'm gonna rock with. Uh, you know, I typically put a lizard skin on every bat. I actually didn't have a lizard skin on this one originally. Uh, I just taped it with some medical tape. You could see that kind of underneath here. And then eventually I did get a lizard skin, kind of wrapped it up. And uh, I actually taper the handle. So you can kind of see it towards the end of my bats here. We'll show you on two or three different bats. Um, the handle, I wrapped the grip around the bottom of the handle. And when I hold the bat, I wrap my pinky just like this around the bottom. I don't know why, I don't know how I started doing that, but I've done it ever since I was really little and that's kind of how I hold the bat right off the edge of my hand. Kind of lets me get the barrel through the zone. Um, just kind of how I feel comfortable. Um, I grip the bat pretty tight here. Lock these hands, lock these wrists and let it fly. But uh, Louisville Slugger, they're, they're, they're awesome. You know, no matter what brand of bat I, I go with, they're all maple. Um, I really like maple. Uh, typically, just like my batting gloves, I'll have a game bat and I'll have a practice bat. You know, I'll practice with a bat till I feel it's broken in, and uh, that'll be my practice bat until my game breaks, and that practice bat now turns into my game bat. So, 
This bat, while I was using my AP5, my other Marucci bat that I had broke, this was my practice bat. And uh, you know, every time, whether it's in the backyard taking swings or in practice, whatever it is, uh, you know, I would be using this bat, trying to get comfortable with it, trying to harden up the, the wood a little bit. And uh, now this one's pretty much broken in. And this is the, the new game bat, so. This is the new practice bat because the new game bat broke. Um, this is a 34, 32, um, Japanese maple. Uh, I got this one at East Coast Pro. Uh, I use this, this is brand new. Um, you can see not too many marks on it here. Uh, but I typically use a 33 inch bat. This is a 33, the uh, Louisville Slugger is. And um, given the extra inch here, on the uh, the Japanese Pro Maple, I uh, I think it's really really good uh, combination for my practice bats. So again, with this one, I'll wrap that pinky around the bottom, and just it being a little bit heavier, a little bit bigger, I feel like when I make that transition back to my game bat, it uh, it allows me to you know really really speed up my hands, and that's something I take pride in my bat speed. Um, you know, it's something that really, really helps me advance my game. Uh, it's something I really do suggest. Uh, I never really went with a inch uh, higher with a practice bat, but um, I, I, I suggest it. I, th I recommend it. I, th I think this is a you know great way to transition from practice to game, and I think it's really, really helpful. You know, this is really hard hard wood here too. Uh, it sounds really nice when you connect. You know. I think these bats are actually pretty hard to find. So um, I'm, I'm thankful that uh, East Coast Pro gave me this. Thank you, East Coast Pro. But uh, this is my metal bat. I've had this since freshman year. You can see it's a uh, Quattro Pro. Um, this bat's really, really, really uh, old. You know, this, this, the Quattro series. Um, you know, I think this is, I think their second or third model of this bat that they created. Um, you know, I think personally this is the best one. Um, that could be a bias uh, answer, um, but this is a 33 inch drop three. So this is a 33 inch, 30 ounce uh, Rawlings Quattro Pro, and it's got a huge barrel as you can see here. The barrel's you know this big right here, and it's when you, when, when you swing with this, it's hard to miss the barrel. So uh, you know I like it. You know I feel ball comes off this bat like like a bouncy ball. And, uh, you know, with some quick hands, get the ball the barrel through the zone, you know, this, the ball flies off this bat. Um, you know, I've swung multiple composite and aluminum bats, and this is just the one I feel most comfortable with. I feel like that's what baseball is all about, just being comfortable. Uh, you know, when you're in the box, you can't be thinking. Uh, it's all, you gotta, you know, trust the practice and trust the prior uh, thoughts and, and everything that got you to where you are now. And you know, when you're up there and you're in the box, you're you know you're facing some hard pitching and good competition. You can't be thinking about, all right, what bat am I swinging, and you know how's it feel. You know you gotta you gotta feel comfortable with it. And this bat's awesome. It it, it really is. Uh, you can see it's kind of hard to tell because the, the the bat is black and the grip is black too. But um, lizard skin grip here. Um, and like I said, I wrap it around the, the bottom. Uh, all the way around and I, I, I place my pinky just like this right on the outside and I wrap the fingers and it helps me really get the bat through the zone. I feel like I get really really good torque with this top hand to get the bat through the zone. Um, highly recommend this bat. If this bat was to ever break on me I, I would definitely be in search of a new one. Um, I don't know how easy they are to find. I've had it since my freshman year um, so I guess three or four years now. Um, done the job so I, I, I really love it.
So that's what's inside my baseball bag.